No matter how hard we try, many of our pets could need the help of an emergency vet at some point. Those with Mesa County Animal Services told KREX 5 News Reporter Club Bordelon that our local emergency vet has saved many pets' lives that otherwise may have been euthanized. When most people are heading home for the day, Savannah Ross and her co-workers are just getting started. Oh, you're fine. Because we're only open on weeknights, weekends, and holidays, so when everyone else isn't. Ross knew she always wanted to work with animals. And I never saw myself working in emergency until I started working in emergency. She says they only have three full-time doctors and the wait for a four-legged friend's care can feel long. So if you walk in with something that's not as critical as the one that walks in behind you, we're going to take the one that walks in behind you first, and we do the best that we can. They're set up for emergency situations, not day-to-day -day veterinary care, um, so their costs are increased. I mean, they have staff that work overnight, off hours. Doug Fry from Mesa County Animal Services says the Veterinary Emergency Center has saved countless lives. It's allowed us to take sick or injured animals. It's allowed the public to take sick or injured animals down there that in the past uh, may have ended up being euthanized. Without their help, many of these animals would not survive. They also make sure abandoned or surrendered animals find a home. We genuinely care about the animals. I think that's one of the reasons that we get calls in the middle of the night to help um, offset the cost of care for an animal that's been abandoned or that's been surrendered because the staff doesn't want to see this animal suffer. But they really do give back to the community and we see that especially in the, the way they give back to our pets through our discounts. It's a hard job. That we sometimes forget the trauma that the staff at a place like the Veterinary Emergency Center go through. So she came in and her face was like three times the size of this. Now she looks like a normal kid. In between those who bark. <laughs> and those who purr. You can find Ross trying her best to save them. First on the Western Slope, Colette Bordel on KREX 5 News. Those with Royce Hurst Humane Society say to avoid sky-high vet bills, invest in pet insurance.